Hey there, tennis fans. I'm Grace Carter, and this is Tennis Now, presented by Tennis Express. Tennis Express, order today, and it ships today. Post-retirement life has provided both pleasure and pain for Caroline Wozniacki. Since closing the curtain on her career at the 2020 Australian Open, Caroline and her husband, former NBA star David Lee, spent a lot of time traveling through New Zealand, climbed Mount Kilimanjaro, and spent several weeks with David's family in the St. Louis area. She's also been battling rheumatoid arthritis. She was diagnosed with RA back in the summer of 2018. Here is how she describes her pain. I couldn't lift my arms. My shoulders are hurting, my elbows, my hands, my feet. I'm struggling to brush my hair and get out of bed. I needed answers. I spoke to many doctors. I was told that it was all in my head. Eventually, I found a rheumatologist who diagnosed me with rheumatoid arthritis. I was 28, diagnosed with a chronic disease. What does this mean for me? Will I be able to live a normal life, start a family in the future? Caroline says the diagnosis was a turning point, and she learned to listen to her body a lot better. She has now partnered with pharmaceutical company UCB on the Advantage Hers campaign to help other women suffering from chronic inflammatory disease. Last month on World Arthritis Day, she shared her experiences living with RA and she gave some tips for managing the condition. Caroline says it's very important for her to eat well and stay very active and fit. And she says she is learning as much about her illness as possible so that she can best manage what is best for her own body. She encourages all women to do the same thing. If you would like to read more about Caroline's experience with RA, check out the AdvantageHers.com website. Also asked recently whether or not she would make a comeback in tennis, Caroline said probably not, but crazier things have happened. And what about Serena Williams? You know the two are very good friends. She was asked recently in an interview if she thought Serena was finally going to be able to catch up with Margaret Court's all-time record. Wozniacki says Serena obviously has the game to get it done, but it won't be easy because there are a lot of girls out there right now playing very good tennis. Even if Serena doesn't match Margaret Court's record, Caroline still considers Williams the best tennis player ever. And what about on the men's side? Well, right now she says it's Roger Federer, adding that we'll have to see what happens in the next few years. That's the latest from Caroline Wozniacki. You can check out more on our Tennis Now TV channel. We'll see you next time.